Hey guys, welcome back to another video, FNAF 22 here with another video, and in today's video, we have another Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Combat Pack 3 video, so, people are saying that Combat Pack 3 might come out soon, because on April 23rd, 2021, aka four days from now, from when this video is being published, um, the Mortal Kombat movie comes out, and we're also... Now trying to think that this could mean speculation of some kind of pack or an announcement when we might get a trailer or a teaser for this pack. So today I will be, since nothing else has really came out about Combat Pack 3, today I will be giving my final predictions on who I think will be in MK11 Ultimate's Combat Pack 3. So yeah, let's jump straight into this. I don't know if there how many people are going to be in, my guess is 3 or 4. So, I'm just going to give you off my first initial three that I think are going to be in it, and then add my fourth. So, the first person that I think is going to be in MK11 Ultimate Combat Pack 3 <clears throat> is definitely my boy Havoc. There's just been so much speculation around Havoc joining, and I really think he has a very good chance to join. I don't see why not, and it's been pretty heavily rumored his um, little picture thing got taken out too, and a lot of... I honestly just think that Havoc has at least a 90% chance to be in Combat Pack 3, and if not, the base roster or DLC for MK12 if they do end up making it. So, um, yeah, Hav Havoc is the first prediction I'm making, because honestly, it just seems like they're pushing for Havoc to be in this Combat Pack, and I wouldn't mind. I think Havoc was fun in Mortal Kombat Trilogy, and I'd love to try him again. Now up next for our girl character in the combat pack, I got Serena. Now I would rather have um, Motara or whatever, but honestly I think Netherrealm and MK is pushing for Serena to be the girl DLC character, which is whatever to me. I wanted uh, Motara, am I even saying that right? I can't remember, I haven't made a Mortal Kombat video in a while and she's not a character I'm very, you know, known with. So, but yeah, I think they are pushing for Serena, which doesn't make sense why they didn't just use her model in MKX as DLC or as like a pre-order bonus. I don't remember if MKX had one, but um, yeah, I really don't know. Um, but it looks like they are pushing for her and I'm just whatever. I'll try her, you know what I mean? But I'm not like, woo, yay, Serena. <laughs> but yeah, I think she could be pretty cool and yeah, it could be decently exciting. And the final one I got here for the guest character, I'm like 80 or 90% sure it's going to be Deathstroke because it's an easy guest character. They don't have to reach out to anybody. They already gave us Rambo last time, which was our kind of big surprise. Because if you think about it, first, our first guest characters were um, in Combat Pack 1 were Joker and Terminator. So we got a D DC character. Then the next Combat Pack, we got Robocop, which are, was our surprise character. So this combat pack, I could see him going with another DC and giving us Deathstroke. I'd much rather prefer Michael Myers or, as some people in my comments have been saying, Candyman. But, um, yeah, it, it's whatever. I wasn't too hyped for Joker, and then I got really hyped for Joker. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm in between with Deathstroke. Um, I feel like Deathstroke could be fun because I have always thought that Deadpool would be a fun character in Mortal Kombat. So, yeah, we'll just have to see. So, that's my three predictions. <clears throat> but they do decide to go with four characters this pack. I got one more prediction. Which is my boy, Smoke. If they are leading... In so, if they are creating a co this combat pack three, I honestly think it's going to be Deathstroke, Havoc, and Serena. But if they do decide to do four characters, my last prediction adding in would be Smoke. Because unless they're going with another guest character... Or female character. The only male character I really see could be Ermac, Ur Reptile, or Smoke. And out of those people, Smoke was the last one to not be in a game for a while. So I think this should be Smoke's opportunity. Or he should at least get base roster in the next game. But you never really know. So yeah, not much to say about Smoke because I've talked about him a lot. And I do really want him in uh, Combat Pack 3. So yeah, how'd you guys like my predictions in it? Uh, in my predictions, I think it's going to be Havoc, Serena, and Deathstroke. But if they do go for four people, I think Smoke. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' three predictions are, or four predictions. Um, 
This isn't necessarily what I want, but these are just my predictions of what I think NetherRealm's gonna do. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you guys are excited for Mortal Kombat 11's Combat Pack 3. And if you're excited for the Mortal Kombat movie, we got four days left, boys and gals. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, I actually just forgot something. Um, I forgot to let you guys know that I think the first tournament video in the plushie uh, section, Freddy vs. Mario, did pretty decent, and I think we're going to continue. So I hope you guys are excited for the second one. I forgot I needed to add that in. Also, I forgot to say, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, so you always be notified when I drop another video. Um, you know, comment down below your predictions, and that's all. I'm so sorry I forgot this, guys. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Mortal Kombat!